Argentinian tango. Argentinian, Argentinian, Argentinian melancholic and desperate tango for the Iron Club. So, how you are keeping this kind of passion? I mean, if I look at your your your, your path, you always go to the country where it has the highest GDP growth. Years ago was China, now you went to uh, Vietnam. You China follow and, and, and Vietnam. And, so. What's your, you know, secret tips for keeping this kind of the passion? On the job you are doing, on the hobby you're having, and also, you know, on country. I'm not joking now, really. One of these persons who, who influenced my life is sitting on the, my right side. <laughs> after, I, after, after I had this knowledge and this close friendship to him, I'm also very much motivated to give this knowledge to the people, to the younger people, and to the entrepreneurs. And uh, the age is, I believe, is happening in your mind. I'm, I will be six, six next year, to Chinese 67. Really, I believe, I, believe I, I feel myself about 45, maximum. I have another 20 years, I hope, and uh, Yes, like uh, tango is a hobby, of course, uh, Argentinian tango. I started to, to learn here in Shanghai. And so, uh, yes, I mean, these kind of hobbies are nice, but the important is you should never stop to work. It is for me, my work is like my hobby. You can't imagine what a high motivation it is for me to sit here in such high people with these kind of, kind of young talents and to share this, this knowledge, his motivation. This, this motivation will never stop until I die. Health is a problem, special overweight. Chinese kitchen is, is responsible for this. In the last eight days, I put another two kilos. You can't imagine how much I do. Yeah, I mean, China has only one problem, is the kitchen. Yes, terrible. But it's okay. I enjoy it also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.